side. Once again, Murray in deep trouble. Back in the Throwing it up for Harris. Now, back to Steiny and Guru on 95.7 The Game. Yeah, that was a big one. Man. Fourth and five. That Kyler was game. Murray off his back foot. Hits Marvin Harrison Jr. It wasn't kept the worst the, coverage. Kept the drive alive. And Arizona goes down and gets a field goal and wins a game. Man. Uh, what do you think about this, Goo? 510. Comcast Business Text Line. Reading into the quotes from the defensive players over the course of the season, they're keeping it professional, but I get the impression that they don't really believe in Sorensen. Wow. And I think the other comment was Mooney Ward, who I had a issue with. I felt him when he said uh, after the Minnesota game, I'm normally – I'm a better version of myself when I follow the one, and he wanted Justin Jefferson assignment. I'm just saying. He's not having a good year. Well, I mean, who is defensively outside Warner. of Fred Warner? Bosa. Well, Oh, he got an interception yesterday. Oh, yeah. Where was he money time? Well, I think getting the ball ran down his face just like the rest of the 49er front line. Man, Stoney, this has got to change. It's got to change soon. It doesn't have to. Maybe they're not that good. Maybe they're at the end of their run. But, wow. Let me. Uh, they lost two division games yeah. that they should have won. I'm going to throw trivia okay. to you. How many games, division games, have the Niners lost the last two seasons? Uh, two. One. It was yeah. to the Rams. But, damn, they lost two this year already. So, two they should have won. <clears throat> Double-digit leads blown. 888-957-9570. Yeah, I mean, cool. No, you don't blow two. You don't blow a 13-point lead and a 14-point lead. You're 4-1. and one. Yeah, that's the way to look at it. Uh, Austin in San Jose. Our man. What's up, Austin? How you doing, man? What's up, guys? Happy Monday. I told you, uh, I told uh, Bonte, he didn't believe me a couple weeks ago that, you know, negative radio sometimes is, is really good. That's what Radish used to say. And uh, after losses, man, that's some of the best radio you can get. I know I know that sounds <laughs> crazy, but it's absolutely <laughs> true. Um, uh, he, I'm paraphrasing Raddy, but uh, he said something. I said, listen, right. guys, uh, how, how about giving some credit to the other teams once in a while? I mean, listen, um, you know, Arizona came in here wounded after, after my commanders put a whooping on them the week before. But give them credit, man. They they hung in the game. They came back, and and that throw that uh, Mary makes off his back foot yep. to uh, Harris. Yeah. I hate to say it. I know it's going to pee off a lot of uh, Niner fans, but Brock can't make that throw. Um, so that, so those are things that you have to just put up and recognize and give other people credit for the talent. Uh, some of the things I think Brock are trying to do, uh, kind of out of his element. I think he is feeling a little bit of pressure. I I, I was wondering if this was going to happen, but. You know, that pressure, everybody, including Guru, keeps saying this guy is worth $50 billion and all this stuff. And I think we need to think about that. Uh, whether he is or isn't, the market will say, but I, he's got to be feeling some of that pressure because he's hearing that noise. Hey, you know, you got to look to the contract. Yeah, he's trying to scramble thing. like he's, scram he's, yeah. he's scrambling around like he's, like he's Lamar Jackson, and he's not Lamar Jackson. And so he needs to just play his game. I think I feel like Brock's kind of pressing a little bit. And I think maybe he just needs to relax and just go back to doing what he does. Uh, let's stop trying to be elite. Just stop. Just try to be a quarterback that got you to where you to where you are. So I just think, hey man, let's just give credit to the other team. Yeah. And Guru, how about how about my commanders, brother? We coming after the Cowboys. Yeah, no my doubt. God. You ain't coming after them. You're ahead of them. And uh, Jaden Daniels looks like the real deal. But I'll take one issue with our good friend Austin. I don't think Purdy thinks he's Lamar Jackson. He's running. And we are not talking about the lack of protection that the offensive line has given him. He's running by necessity a majority of the time, Stani. And then when I throw the damn interception, it's because somebody can't block or, you know, what did Kyle say? They're bringing more than we're blocking. But give me more than that. Damn, that, that's going to happen on most Sunday, Thursdays, and Mondays. But I do not look at Brock Purdy and say he's trying to be Lamar. Austin, he's running you know, again, by necessity. But the one thing that is not Brock Purdy's fault, Stoney, and I'll say this because I'm not up here caping for him. He was off yesterday. He was to me, and they still had a chance to win the game. He doesn't control Jordan Mason and his carries. And I just can't stop looking at the box score. 14. That is ridiculous. He should have that in a half. And again, Tom Brady, the great, the GOAT, said it. I'm not used to this Niner team just throwing the ball around the yard. 
and you can't get in when it's money time. Like, you can get it to the red zone, but that's what's crazy about this season, Stoney. That had nothing to do with the defense. You, I mean, you get 16 more points, one of six in uh, the red zone. I mean, uh, excuse me, what, 15 more points? Uh, 20 more points, five times four. Come on, Goo. I mean, man, this game's not close. But that's the reality. The red zone, that's the issue. The red zone uh, for the offense and defensively just stopping the run and teams that got weaponry. New England had nothing last week. I feel like uh, I I agree with Austin. I can't quite put it into, into terms, but I do feel like Purdy was just, I don't know, I felt like he was trying to do too much yesterday. I do. And maybe he felt that need because – there wasn't much happening, but I, I I don't know. I thought he was almost too casual at points, believe it or not, and mm. trying to make plays. I don't know. I just feel like uh, felt like the obviously more incompletions than we're normally seeing with yeah. Purdy. Um, First one of the game went for an incompletion. And the other the other thing is he, he threw two interceptions in the second half. You can't do that. You can't do that. And and he did, and then you have a costly fumble, and you're not turning the ball over. And uh, for the second time this year, the 49ers get beat after having a two score lead. Let's say uh, before you go, let's just say you're right. But it's Kyle's job to know that he might be pressing or trying to do too much. I didn't get that. I think this has become the norm for Purdy this year without McCaffrey. But Steiner, you got a running game on the day. I won't even mention JP Mason that averaged five point nine a pop. That's six. Why wouldn't you lean on the running game more? If you thought that the kid was trying to do too much, I don't know. I don't know. How do you not score the second half? Uh, 415. Brock passed up uh, from the uh, Comcast business text line. Uh, Brock passed up a lot underneath easy throws to, to Mason, the running back, and he and the outlet passes to the wide receivers that could have gotten him chunk yardage to make it easy on third down. Um, hey. But he wanted everybody wants him to throw long. By no, the way, we were noticing that by they the way. Were, no, we were told on. We were told guys like you were saying, Goo, this is not what the Niners do as a whole. And I was like, Well, they got some guys that can they got some some well, they athleticism and and the past, you know, Look. Purdy was making a conscious effort to throw the ball down the field. That we can't ignore that. But now if you're saying Look. they're doing it too much in your butt, I don't know, man. I just know they did not score in the second half yesterday. Like, Stanley, that's unacceptable. And nobody asked Kyle about it. Not one of the journalists, not one reporter said, what's up with your offense? You got guys on the game, uh, the initials DJ, that are calling you a genius. And you got a red zone problem. Not a Pasoy problem. You got a red zone problem. Look. Too much talent. Who? The offense to have without McCaffrey to at be nine and twenty two and thirtieth in red zone efficiency. Stanley, I, that's real. I don't. Have, I don't know why. That's not good. This is how you get beat. Defense was playing their ass off in the first half. Get fifty yard run. Okay, it happens. Great run by Murray. Second play of the game for them. But you know, and I know they got more talent than good eggs in the second half at home. I don't know. Wow. It's a different team. It's a different team than last year. But when you give me that and look, the, what do you mean, though? Like, well, it, well, first of all, yeah. and, and I don't really. Would, can we acknowledge Brandon Ayuk? 115 in the first half. Yeah. Come on, Goo. What, like, when you say that, what are you saying? Because I'm not telling you he's Justin Jefferson. I never have. He's not. He's not even close. But when you he say is that. a possession receiver. That is what he is, I think. I, I mean, wow, all man. his catches are 15 yards for the most part. He had one yesterday yeah, for 53. Yeah, he broke a tackle. <laughs> or a guy missed a tackle, and then he runs down the sidelines. But he, they don't have a deep threat on this team. I don't. A deep, deep threat. Yeah, he didn't get in the end zone, but. What's new? I just, wow, man. Sonny, I'm calling these games collapse. Do you have a problem with me calling a game like this a collapse? What, You're what, up 13, you and then you don't score. I don't. I don't understand. And uh, to Austin's point, I wasn't running to. De- I wasn't running around here on Market Street saying Brock Purdy should be the highest paid quarterback. I'm just. I'm reading the room. I'm looking at the tea leaves, and Stoney, he is going to get 50. 
And I'm, again, I can call him out when it's need to, time to be. Yesterday was not his great, his finest hour by any stretch. Two picks, and then you got the game in your hands. You hit Kittle that first 15 yards. I'm like, oh boy, they're about to put. But then I was like, they don't have a kicker. Now you need a kicker, and you're going to throw something at me, and I don't care. I'll catch it. I wonder if some people and diehard Niner fans didn't like his answer about not knowing who the kickers were. <laughs> no, like that's that like Belichick would know the name of the kickers, or maybe he didn't want to share them. I'm just like it just. You didn't. You don't know, and maybe you really don't know. But maybe, you don't know. Maybe it's that's not a, a big deal. Maybe man. he doesn't want to share it. Huh? Say that. Okay. Maybe he doesn't know who. Who cares? Jan Smith, Jimmy Fox, the, the Brad Havens. Because the whoever you pick are going to go along. I'm just Stani. Be on top of everything. I thought he was. I'm. I'm not, man. They're leaving a lot of meat on that field. Uh, maybe they're not. Thirtieth in red zone efficiency with this Ooh. weaponry. Well, stop talking about the weaponry if it's not doing anything. What if it's the maestro? Okay, well, then blame it on him. Blame it on Shanahan. Purdy wasn't very good yesterday. And I'll give you that. He wasn't. Jennings only caught one ball. He got his hurt. hand yeah. early in the game. That obviously met, uh, was a factor. But Debo, Stoddy, he was null and void. I, I'm not, again, I'm not saying Debo's a bum or he didn't play. I like, wh- what are you bringing to the table? Well, I mean, one reception for 11 yards, three targets again, and everything's in traffic again. To him. I thought they had weaponry. Do they have weaponry or do they not have weaponry? I don't think they're using it right. Defensively, they don't have. They got Warner and Bosa. Uh, let's go to Nagy in Los Gatos. Hey, Nagy in Los Gatos. Hold on one sec, though. Uh, you're listening to 95.7 The Game. KGMZ FM at HD1 San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch and YouTube powered by First NorCal Credit Union. What's up, Nagy? It's okay. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey. Uh, I want to talk about so, – hi. I want to talk about so-called our genius coach at the 49ers. Um, I, I, you know, I don't get it. He is not a good coach. He is at best – a good offensive coordinator, maybe. He does not know how to manage games. Historically, he's been losing uh, double-digit leads in the fourth quarter, in the critical games, few Super Bowls. He, it's on him. Fourth and 23, for God's sake, if you don't trust your punter to kick the field goal, punt it, put him deep. Uh, I don't get it why the media and you guys think that he is great. We have Belichick that is has no job. I would, with no blink of an eye, fire Shanahan and get Belichick or anybody else. He is not a good coach. But how do, you exp- yeah. how do you explain all the win in the last five years? And you're right. I, I called him out for bad coaching in certain situations, but we can't ignore the rat on the table, which is the Niners have been in two Super Bowls and four straight <laughs> NFC Championship games. You got to give them some credit, man. I give him credit. I give okay. him credit. He's not a great coach. Right. What is his overall? What is his overall uh, percentage as a coach? Barely five hundred. Mm-hmm. Is that a great coach? Is that a genius? I mean, people uh, would say those first yeah, two years yeah. probably, obviously, didn't help. But yeah. uh, nine two five. The secret is out on the Niners. If you out physical them in the trenches, uh, you stand a puncher's chance. We saw yesterday against. Uh, against the Cardinals and before against the Rams. You, you know what? I, it's easy to say that when you don't got your big brother with you, and your big brother is Christian McCaffrey. And you know what? I, it, it just set in on me, Stani, at 10, oh, excuse me, 11.02 a.m. on a Monday morning. D- d- yeah, no victory Monday. At the end of the day, we all said this was a nothing burger for McCaffrey. The Niners will be fine offensively. And you know what we're starting to see? Maybe it's just they're not. When you miss a great back or a talent like Christian McCaffrey, there's consequences. So maybe I need to get off my horse and go back the other way, and I'm not making excuses, and say this is what is ailing this offense, the lack of the great Christian McCaffrey. But we all, we all, oh, they got weapons. Yeah, they do, but nothing like McCaffrey, and maybe he's the straw that makes the, make it stirs the drink.
Uh, do, what, do you buy that or is that an excuse? Well, it's a little of both. Shanahan, what's the plan for McCaffrey? His plan yeah, is to continue his rehab, and every day you, you try to push the rehab more and more each, each day. There you go. Push the rehab. You got to push the re- you got to push day. the rehab. Right. I hey man, I don't like any of it. I'm Troy Aikman right now, man. How can you? Uh, I bet some more Shanahan. This is from uh, Purdy balancing the scrambling with the check down. Is there a fine line sometimes of uh, trying to exhaust the play and making something happen, and then sometimes maybe just taking a check down or throwing it away? Yeah, always. I mean, that, that's why that's why you try to cover that too when those things happen, good or bad. I mean, last week I thought it really helped out, and he made a number of plays with it. But I think I also said last week there's a couple that it hurt us on, and I'd say the same thing happened yesterday. There's always some good and bad for both of those things. You hope the good out um, outweighs the bad, which which it has. Um, but there was a couple, um, you know, in particular that sack on the second and fourteen um, that were tough to overcome. Yeah, that was from today, Kyle Shanahan talking about uh, Brock Purdy balancing, scrambling with staying in the pocket. Hey, uh, Evan. Oh. Let me play something for Goo real quick. I kind of love this one. I think we got four guys coming in later today. Can you reveal who those are? I don't know. I don't have their names. <laughs> no, that's what the guys are working on now. Just finishing this all game right, and getting right. started all the Seattle stuff on the short yeah. week. So I know those guys are scrambling in. I think they got four guys coming, but I didn't get their names. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. I, I know I'm different, man. I'm, and maybe he Evan, you have a problem with Shanahan <laughs> not knowing the kickers' names I who just, are coming in. Hey, maybe he, Evan. Guru thinks he should be buttoned up and Belichick would know. Man, he truly did know. He, Belichick didn't know the name of his kicker who was actually <laughs> kicking for him. Hey, just, I'm different, man. Uh, let's go to Joe in San Jose. Hey, Joe, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Hey, thanks. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. Um, uh, Woody, I just want to ask you guys a few questions. Uh, okay. One question, one important question. Okay. Um, first of all, I think the weather played a big, a huge factor yeah. in the game. And then my other question is, is do you think it's uh, time to hit the panic button or? or the, the Niners are in a good position right now. It's put fire under them to uh, play better. Thanks for taking my call. Yeah, no, I mean, the Heat. Please stop, the Stein. Heat. We don't do that. Oh, man. we do it. The other team had to play in the Heat. That had nothing to do with the temperatures with Mason getting the ball 14 times. No, maybe it th- we don't know no, that. What does that mean? We don't These know that. These dudes practice all off season. This dude's a thoroughbred. Give him the rock. And this has been a constant. Why are, is, why, why are you not feeding the beast? Especially now if Purdy is, you know, reading the clip in Stiney, and maybe he is having fun back there being Fran Tarkenton. But yesterday he got popped a couple times. And, you know, I mean, a loss of six yards here, a loss of eight yards. You are not going to be able to manipulate NFL defenses the way he has. And he made some good runs yesterday, Brock Purdy. But, Stiney, the first play of the second half went to Ayuk. Ayuk was open, ball hot. It was just a bad day for Purdy from an accuracy standpoint. But as far as fire, this ain't about no fire. The fire should have been la- uh, should have been lit last week, Stiney. This is about defense right now, they are not physical on that side of the ball. You got some studs, and you got one guy playing like a stud. I'm sorry. That's number 54. Outside of that, uh, you don't know what you're going to get from the secondary. And uh, who was that they got beat? Lenore on the the, the play that would have been a touchdown. Kyler Murray missed. Uh, who's my guy was running open uh, on the sideline in the fourth quarter? I was like, oh my God, he overthrew him. And he had beat, I think that was Lenore he had beat, but I'm just saying this defense under Sorensen is nothing to write home about through five games. Jordan Mason leads the league in carries by 10. Okay. He's got 105 carries. Okay, but the what, next, this is the not next highest has 95. Major, this is not major league. Have you ever heard of a guy, Derrick Henry? That's, well, how he, that's his claim to fame. Mason's got more carries than him, though. Okay. Well, I'm just I'm well, just saying. No. I, I'm not. The I'm Minnesota just saying. Game, Jordan he Mason went away leads, from him. leads right. the league right. in carries, right. and it's kind of. I don't believe like that's 10. why he only had 14 yesterday. Kyle can't be thinking about that. Well, because you, it's an. You want him to think about that with McCaffrey and his workload, and Maybe he didn't. He, he blew past that. 
Well, maybe he's thinking about it. He didn't care about it. So now he cares about it? Well, yeah. But it's hurting your yes. offense. I believe it's maybe, hurting your offense. Maybe he you does got something care about getting you six yards a pop, and you limit yourself with that. Why? On a day where it's 100 degrees. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. But Arizona didn't do that with Connor. Well, he had 18. Who wore you down? He had 18 carries. Okay. Mason I'm, had 14. I mean, I'm not disagreeing I, yeah. with you. You're just but throwing even, questions okay. out, and I'm trying well, to I answer know, them. But I, I, but I don't I, know. I, I want some consistency. At least admit that your boy's being consistent. We said the same thing in the Minnesota game. He went away from Mason. And if it's all of a sudden these guys are on a pitch count, if you say that, I get it. They probably but are. But a guy or a weapon that's averaging six yards a pop and it's a big butt and is a load to take down, you need to keep doing that. Yesterday, Purdy should have maybe threw it 25 times. Until I find out they can't they can stop my run. That's what's glaring to me about what's what's going on in Kyle's brain. And he's becoming pass happy.